Hello, all my home doggies out there. So um, I'm recording this little video clip because I really want to tell my face-to-face -face students uh, to never, ever, ever give up in anatomy. You guys just got an exam back. I figured I'd publish this thing to YouTube because there's probably some of y'all out there who could use a little pep talk as well. Um, we're about halfway through the semester, and no, we're exactly halfway plus one lecture through the semester. And this is the time of the semester that um, things can get discouraging. And I get that. I totally understand. But what I'm concerned about is that you, um, there's a couple things you need to know. First of all, exam two is harder than exam one. Okay, so, so right there, if you didn't make the kind of improvements that you were hoping to make between exam one and exam two, what I can tell you is that exam two is harder. So if you maintained similar scores, that actually means you're doing better. I know that you guys have really high standards for yourselves and you have really high expectations for um, your grades. And I wish, oh my gosh, I wish that we could just be about learning and not about grades, but I, I understand, I get it. I totally understand where we are. Our next exam on the nervous system is different than the bones and muscles. If you found the bones and muscles um, particularly challenging, then nervous system is not easy. There's nothing about the nervous system that's easy, but it's different. It's a different kind of processing and it's a different kind of content. It has a little bit more um, functional um, conversation inside the concept. And so um, I'm, I'm just saying don't give up. I'm saying don't give up. I'm saying look at the positive. I'm saying if you're still not happy with your grade, um, make a change. I have ideas for things that you can do to study. Group study sessions are really important. Spending time in the lab with the, with the specimens is really important. Talking about the material is really important. Effectively flipping the content is really important. If you flip well, if you watch the video lectures and you go through the lab handout and you identify all those structures and you flip well, then class becomes review. Class becomes this big study session. Lab becomes review. You get to focus just on um, transferring your knowledge to the specimens, to the cadavers, to the brains, um, and to the models. And that is a, um, a more doable task. And I know that time is a good Lord. <laughs> Do I ever know that time is the limiting factor for all of us? And so then there has to be another part of you that says, okay, really, what more can I do here and what is realistic to expect? Anatomy is a class that requires um, a, just a lot of time. Physio is a class that requires a lot of time. These big science courses combine a whole new pile of vocabulary. It's a language plus this whole conceptual thing about how these processes work. It, it's not for the weak at heart. And I guess that's the part where, gosh dang it, I want to give y'all hugs right now because I know this time of the semester is hard. This time of the semester is hard for me too. It's the time where you just kind of want to sit down and breathe and like sleep in a little bit. And, um, but no, it's 5 o'clock in the morning and you're up studying and you're um, taking care of yourself and um, continuing on with this good battle. Now, these classes are big prereqs, and so if you um, are concerned about your grade because you know the requirements for the program that you're applying for, 
the CR nursing program, you've got to have a 2.5 GPA in anatomy, physio, and micro combined, which means you get one C. And, and I'm happy to have that conversation with you about how, how we're going to, um, what the best choice is. At CR, we're not at the drop date yet. I think it's the beginning of November that is the day, the last day to drop a class and still get a W. And um, let's have that conversation as well. Don't disappear on me. Going through the course, taking all the exams, um, taking the quizzes, sticking around to the very end, even if you decide it's better to drop. I I'm in. I understand. But um, don't go away. Keep the pressure on, and um, I know that this is hard, and I am confident that you can do it. The skills that you're gaining in this class are valuable um, beyond just the class. So um, hmm, don't get discouraged. And some of you, you know, here I am doing a pep talk, and some of you totally made improvements and totally are looking good at it. Um, those of you who maintained, if you got worse, that's a bad sign. But those of you who maintained, I'm not giving up on you yet. I, I'm not concerned yet. Um, we still have the final exam that's going to replace a, an entire ex midterm score. And I know that you're learning a ton, so um, it's not the time to give up. Okay. How verbose was I? Is that like a five-hour long pep talk? Don't you want to do a cheer now? or maybe have chocolate, or maybe go home and sleep. Okay, I really love you guys. Okay, bye-bye.